Hello everyone, my name is Hoon, and I'm one of the developers at Plasm Network. And today we are excited to announce that we have finally added support for EVM on top of Plasm Network. Now this implementation is done through the Frontier project. Frontier is a set of frames or palettes uh, that are meant for substrate blockchains to implement. This allows a compatibility layer to be formed within a substrate-based blockchain between Ethereum and other Ethereum development tools, such as Ganache, Web3.js, and MetaMask. Now, at the moment, the EVM module, or the Ethereum module, which is to encapsulate everything, is very isolated from the substrate blockchain. So with the current build, it's hard to make interactions between a native substrate, uh, chain-specific operations, or even ink, a contract communication. And EVM has its own balance system, which is kept separate. But as as things develop, we'll be seeing a lot of changes, and hopefully we'll be adding more compatibility with between substrate, or I guess Plasma Network-specific operations with EVM, which allows much more power to EVM. Now, first thing you want to do to actually use this is clone the Plasm node, uh, the entire repository, and also make sure that you've initialized the submodules since the Frontier package is a submodule within the repository. Now, I've already cloned mine. It's in the Dusty branch. It's in the latest branch as well, or latest commit. Everything's here. Now, if you've cloned everything, what you want to do is build the binary. I've already built mine, so it's quite fast, but for yours, it might take several minutes. Yeah. Okay, now let's execute this stuff. First thing you want to do is go to target release and plasm node, the actual binary for the blockchain. Next is pass in a custom flag, dash L, with EVM, the value of debug. What this does is it allows the terminal to log all debug messages within EVM palette. This is important because at the current stage, the EVM RPC has a little bit of an issue with the callbacks. So some, well, most tools might not be able to catch any success messages or su success responses from operations. But this EVM, by debugging the or by displaying the debug message, we were able to listen to all incoming events, how it worked, how it worked, and the contract address as well. All right. Next, we will set up a developer node. So just pass in the double dash dev flag and press enter. So you can see our blockchain is now running from block number zero, the Genesis blockchain, or sorry, Genesis block which also includes the Alice address, which I will import soon. All right, now everything is done. The blockchain is, is running. Go to MetaMask, and I've expanded mine, but you know, click on the extension. And you want to click this network badge. Press the custom RPC option. And now we can set up our custom information to listen to this blockchain right now. You can just name whatever you want. Um, it's just a label, not too important, but this part is quite important because we want to listen to our local host with the port 9933, the default port, value, uh, port number for our chain. Next, chain ID. It doesn't really matter which uh, chain ID you choose, but for sake of clarity, I'll just go with 80. Next choose the token symbol. This is also optional, but if you don't put anything, it'll just default to Ethereum. And since I want to I want to pretend like the balances here are from the to uh, from the chain native token, let's go with PLD for Dusty Plums. Click save. And then you should see your network appearing here. And here it is. Now, since we have our network imported, uh, Let's import our developer account that contains the Genesis tokens. 
the the string that you see here on the screen is the private key for our uh, so-called Alice address. And just paste it, import it. Now this value is actually hard-coded within the chain. So, so we'll put a link the documentation for that as well. And you can see that Alice address has a thousand PLD pre-baked in the Genesis block. This allows us to just straight up start the development phase without having to mine anything. Next, what you want to do is go to Remix. Remix is a browser-based Ethereum IDE that allows you to compile smart contracts and deploy them to Ethereum network. It's very convenient and is very sleek as well. So for this tutorial, we'll be using the storage contract and the owner contract. Now these three uh, sample contracts are, are, are provided by default if you if it's your first time you know entering remix so you should be able to just get this running next you want to click the compiler tab and we'll just go with enable optimization although it's not mandatory and then we'll compile this contract the contract should be uh, compiled very fast just go to now let's go to the deploy and run transactions tab and here right now the default environment is JavaScript VM just for testing uh, but we want to listen to our chain right and right now our MetaMask is hooked to this blockchain so we go to injected web 3 which refers to our DAP browser ie MetaMask click and you can see our MetaMask is asking for permissions next next Yep, and you can see our Alice address with 1000 ether uh, being read. It's great. And last, we want to deploy this to our chain. And you can see our MetaMask saying, uh, asking for confirmation or deploying a new contract. And just press confirm. And in here, uh, it actually will just wait for the storage callback or sorry, the deployment callback but in our chain you can see our debug saying that it has been successfully um, deployed to our chain this is sort of an uh, limitation at the current build but it should it's not too hard to fix I think and you can also see that our funds has been actually decreased even though this is just pending and it'll just pend here until it drops uh, but and within as far as like chain is concerned everything is working fine and everything has actually succeeded now this here you can see this is our uh this is our address the, the source the person or the account that has been depl that's deploying the contract and this apply extrinsic inserting code at and this is our contract address we want to copy this and because uh, our MetaMask won't be actually returning anything from here, we will have to manually input our address. And you want to, yes, just add this smart contract from that address and you can see it has successfully picked up our contract. And let's first retrieve. Uh, the default value is zero, of course, but we can actually now store numbers here let's go with 73 store and you can see our metamask is asking for transactions to happen um, I just like to press it just to refresh the gas fees and confirm of course uh, the metamask itself won't actually uh, spew out any confirmations but you can see our chain itself has successfully changed the storage value for the given contract now everything is successfully uh, executed. Now let's click retrieve again and boom 73. So yes, as far as the chain is concerned, everything has worked successfully and you can see it has also updated the value. This is all standard Ethereum RPC stuff. So it is very compatible. Let's try another one then. 
let's go to the owner contract and the same thing just compile it and then we will deploy it deploy yep that confirm and if you wait a bit we actually don't even have to wait it's already it's already here and this is our contract address well this the same thing but this is our contract address apply extrinsic inserting code it refers to the fact that we have successfully inserted our contract uh, byte by codes same thing uh, paste your smart contract address and at address then go here see owner now the default owner should be the same address as Alice's public address get owner up you see here and our address is this you can see that the value is the same because that's what the default address is for this but we will change this to another address just a random one copy it and then paste it here change owner this will ask for a confirmation confirm and it should show up right away with the uh, up updating storage function and then we press the get owner and look it's different so yep with the new frontier projects being implemented in plasma network now you're able to use standard ethereum contracts with ethereum tools it, sh it should allow everyone much more flexibility in their development environment now there are still a lot of works required for us to properly release this but so far with as ethereum goes our chain is compatible with standard evm stuff that is awesome well thank you for watching this video and Stay tuned for uh, additional updates coming next. Thank you.